In this CAD Image Tools 3D pro Profiler tutorial, we'll look at how we can use the editing aids to adjust our profile. What we have here is a beam sitting on top of a slab. And we'll just run through the different editing aids that allow you to three-dimensionally adjust how this profile object works. If I select that profile and go into its settings, you'll see that it's a following a path and it's a channel section of a certain size that we can choose. You can also change the anchor points of that and the settings for the profile itself. Now, looking at the editing aids, when we're working with our profile, they're stored in the CAD image menu, 3D profiler, and these are all the options. No editing, XYZ edit mode, Z edit mode, offset edit mode, and helical arc, planar, and spline edit mode. What I've done is I've actually added those functions to a tool palette here to make it a little bit quicker. When you're in no editing, you're moving the entire object. And the next editing mode down is adding points. Out of your pet palette, make sure you're on move node and you'll be editing an individual point. So I'm now adding an additional point to my profile. So these ones in the middle, always add a point. Ones at the ends will stretch an existing point. There are also two other ones at the ends. This one angles the end dynamically. And the other one rotates the end angle. Next option, the Z edit mode. That allows us to raise points in three dimensional space, elevate them so that we can crank our beam vertically. Again, we can go back and use the other editing modes to add points or adjust their position in X and Y. The offset edit mode allows us to stretch in a segment in a planar direction. The helical arc edit mode allows us to curve it And planar does the same curve, but in a completely flat orientation. And finally, spline editing allows us to curve it in a spline curve. Have a look at that in plan. adding a curve using a spline methodology. See these ones using that same curving element. Back to XYZ edit mode. We can move nodes around and plan. In the planar edit mode, we can see how they move in plan, same as how they moved in 3D.
When you choose no editing, it changes the plan display of your element and you can see whichever plan display option you've chosen, whether that's a reference line or an outline view. When you're in the editing modes, you'll just see the reference edge of the beam, the anchor edge, and the node points. So that's editing a 3D profiler beam using the edit modes.